Hi, thanks for joining. Um, welcome to uh, Holy Smokes. Uh, this is my final review of the episode four, which we cook three different ribs, three different ways, uh, three different recipes, if you will. The first one, if, if you recall, was baste it with mustard, uh, dry rub, um, smoke three, two, one method, smoke three hours, a wrap for two hours, and uh, smoke, uh, uh, continue to cook for another hour. The second one was the same thing, based with mustard, dry rub, but after the uh, two hour uh, wrap, we put a little bit of honey and brown sugar on there. And the third one was a little bit unique in that I've not seen this recipe anywhere else, it's just something I just thought I'd try. And that was straight off from the very beginning, no dry rub, um, straight honey and brown sugar right from the get-go. All three of those we let sit overnight, wrapped up, and then uh, we cooked each of them together. So there was no difference in the way we cooked or as far as the hours go. We, we each did, all three of them, we, we did the uh, three-hour smoke, two-hour uh, uh, wrap, and then the one-hour uh, final cook. So surprisingly, uh, the third recipe did better than I thought. I thought it was, I thought I was just destroying this ribs, but it turned out that third recipe, although it wasn't the best, it did better than I thought. It, it was number two uh, all, all for all three of us. We all three said that's the second best recipe. That was surprising to me because honestly, I did not expect, uh, I, I thought they were gonna be terrible, but they weren't. It's actually pretty good. Uh, the second one, uh, the second recipe, which was the one I see most of, is you know after the after the unwrap, put uh, honey and brown sugar on there, and let them cook for another hour. That was our least favorite. Surprisingly, I thought that was going to be number one. To be honest with you, the first one, uh, the first recipe, which is the original way I do it. Dry rub, nothing else after the wrap, unwrap, uh, just three, two, one method. And it turned out that that was our favorite and I'm not being biased because I try not let people, let my son or my wife know which recipe I normally did, even though they kind of knew just because of the taste. But the only problem that I had with the first recipe was it, it was a little bit too salty. Um, I guess I put too much dry rub on. I didn't know there was such a thing. I thought put as much as you want. But apparently there's a saturation point uh, that if you put too much, the rub doesn't have time to blend into the meat or, or either burn off or smoke off or whatever happens to it. Uh, and it left a, a really salty taste to it. If you just took the meat off and, and ate it, it was really good, really juiced, moist, as you saw in the previous video. Uh, but again, it had a little bit too much salt on it. So next time I'll uh, not be so liberal on the dry rub uh, whenever I do that again. That's the final result. Number one recipe was uh, came out, out on top. The number three recipe came out second. And surprisingly, the third, uh, second recipe came in third. It was our least favorite. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ribs, Ribs, Ribs. I hope you found some value in it. I hope it um, was informative for you. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, tell your friends about us, and I'll see you on the next cook.